improve in, so that mid to higher the barnacles, okay. other creatures in the ocean attached to the top of the shell. Um, so here on Cape Cod, in November and December, when things start to get cold, we start to see storms coming out of the north. Um, the water temperature starts to drop and gets below 50 degrees. We have this unlikely phenomenon that happens where tropical and subtropical juvenile sea turtles start washing up on our beaches. Two, three, in. They're very thin. They probably haven't been eating much at all. Uh, it could have been weeks since they last ate. Um, so they're um, on top of that. They might have had injuries or wounds. They might have been kind of bashed around um, from the straining itself. Can be uh, it can be really tough on them. So they might have injuries from uh, rocks or stranding. Um, so we see a lot of uh, injuries. On top of that, uh, when they're um, they get very cold, um, they can get infections and pneumonia. So those are all things that when they come into us uh, that we have to assess and treat. They are fast. I was not looking at all. I was looking the other way. The numbers have been going up dramatically. Uh, so over the last 15 years, every five years, the number of strandings has gone up about threefold. Um, and so over the last five years, we've averaged about 700 sea turtles, mostly Kemp's Ridleys, the most endangered in the world, washing up on bayside beaches here on the, on the Cape each winter. We know that the oceans are warming, that's very clear. Very clear signals in terms of the way populations of fish, lobsters, uh, they're all moving north or further offshore into cooler waters. Uh, many fishermen knows that this is happening. And it's affecting the sea turtles as well. The Gulf of Maine, which are the waters north of Cape Cod up to the Canadian Maritimes, are warming particularly fast based on a recent study. And so I think this is allowing more of these sea turtles to recruit in off of the Gulf Stream and end up in Cape Cod waters. So Kemp's Ridleys are the most endangered species of sea turtle in the world, so every single one that we can rehabilitate and put back into the ocean has a chance to contribute to conservation directly.